that three-pointer to put the Cavs up three. There's under a minute left. The Cavaliers switch out, and Kevin is on Steph Curry. Right. And he stayed with him. And he made Steph put up a really tough three-pointer that Steph didn't get a good look at. And you can say anything you want about Kevin's defense. There it was. And, right. and at the most key time of the year, that was right there. And Jeff, you're absolutely right. You know, it's one thing about basketball, you have to understand the moment. Right. And surely Kevin Love understood the moment that he was not going to allow Curry to make that three-point basket. Exactly right. He was on him. He was not going to let him have it. Kevin also had uh, three steals and three, three assists in that game. We want to remind you that your Cleveland Cavaliers are presented by Discount Drug Mart. Watch that leg, Mo. Be careful there. We want everybody getting here safe and sound. And I hope they're wearing sunscreen. <laughs> everybody. The players are making their way toward Allie Clifton on the parade route. So we can't wait to hear from some of the guys as Allie runs out and catches them either in the car or they'll jump out of the car. Can't wait to hear from some of these guys because they've dreamt of this, Campy. So many of these players came here because they wanted to see this. Yes. That's why they came here. Richard Jefferson said that's why he's here. He said, I wanted to play with LeBron because we can win a title. They came here for this, and here Jeff, it is. Jeff, you're absolutely right. You look at Richard Jefferson. Here is a guy that made it to the finals early on in his career. Twice. And then 13 years later, he shows up in it again. And this time, they win the world championship, AC. And you look at Richard Jefferson, he was a big part of, of our championship this year. Oh, he does, Kevin. When he was inserted into the lineup, that gave us a different look. And really, Golden State never recovered from that moment on. That's they never true. had the world to say. In the locker room after Game 7, Richard, overcome with the joy of being a champion, told anybody who would listen that he's done. He's retiring. Stay tuned. Yes, stay that tuned. That may not be the entire story. No, I don't think that will be. I, don't, I, don't I hope it's either. not. And can't be the way he played in Game 7, the way he played in the finals. It shouldn't be. And Jeff, you're absolutely right. AC just talked about it in terms of Richard Jefferson still has a lot of athleticism in him. And he understands the, 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 the most important moments. And to me, that's the, that's the beauty of having a veteran is he understand those moments and then he has the ability to take his game or raise his game to that moment and Richard Jefferson did that throughout the playoffs uh -oh. Kyrie Irving obviously snuck a bottle of champagne onto the plane with him coming home good for Kyrie <laughs> Can't be, since the Cavaliers won the championship You've had a chance to talk to a number of your former teammates. Tell us about some of those conversations and go through the individual guys. Well, some of the guys I've had a chance to talk to is Dwight Davis. You know, he called me early on. He was one of my teammates back in, in 1976. I talked to Fritz Walker, who told me that it's, it's, it's playoff time and you cannot give up any layups. That's one of the things that Fritz Walker talked about. And Fritz Walker was one of the first guys in, our, in the Cavaliers history to have a triple double and I talked to this guy in terms of footsie and he was very excited about what was going on with this basketball team I also talked to Jim Brewer I also talked to Dick Snyder who made one of the final baskets in, in, in our series and one of the things that Dick talked about is that he says that he is happy that this Cavalier team has brought a championship team to Cleveland because now they can move on from the miracle year because right now it's all about this Cavalier basketball team. I just saw Allie in the middle of a mass of humanity. Allie, are you getting ready for the players down there? We sure are, Jeff. It's actually starting to open up a bit because the beginning of the parade is just a block away. These fans down here have been waiting all day long. As you know, we're going to hear right away from Cavs owner Dan Gilbert. I can't wait to see his reaction to what he has experienced thus far. Fellas, Kyrie, JR, not too far behind. And I heard you mention RJ and his retirement. You better believe I'm going to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> Fellas, it's all coming up in near moments. Stay tuned. Allie talked with RJ in the locker room right after game seven. He said, I'm done, done, I'm done. I hope he's not done. There's the champ. Who's that, Campy? That's the champ. That's, That's the champ. James Jones, ladies and gentlemen, three-time NBA champion. Won twice in Miami. And this is a guy, 
I remember watching the when the Miami Heat were in the finals and James came off the bench and knocked down shots and I thought this guy hasn't played all year and he's stepping into the finals and knocking down shots and AC we saw that from him this season for the Cavaliers he'd go a game he'd go five games he'd go ten games without playing all of a sudden his number is called and he's knocking down shots well he was always ready because he never changed his routine every day then I would watch him he'd do the same thing over and over and over and he might not get his number called at all. But when his number was called, he was ready because he never changed his habits. Again, AC, that goes back to having veterans on your basketball team. And you look at the champ. The champ was very good for us all year long. And he was outstanding in the locker room. And I thought he did a good job of keeping this team connected as a team. Campy, you told me one time that leadership is all well and good, senior veteran leadership but you better be able to still play because otherwise the message doesn't carry as much punch. James can still play. Yes. Richard Jefferson can still play. That's right. And that's why it was so effective. And also you have to add Ch Channing Fry to that mix. And Jeff, you're absolutely right. When you are a veteran and you're trying to guide and lead younger guys, you have to be able to show them in practice. You have to be able to show them in game situations. And you have to be able to answer the bell every time your number is called. And I think that's the beauty of the Cavaliers team. And like I said before, in each series, they had to use different personnel. And, and, and that's what gave them the, the ability.